Yo, who keeps saying fuck me? Like, come on, man, come on. Don't bring, don't, 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 don't bring that shit over here now. Somebody said, "Ag." <laughs> Somebody said, "Ag." <laughs> You're the bandit. All right, whatever, man. Shut up. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit. It's all good. We love Lil Baby. He's amazing. What else did I miss out on? I felt there was a lot of shit that went on. Oh, chat. Remember the guy? I played this video before and he was like, yo, the first day you meet a girl, give her some money. I was like, what? Like, what the fuck is he talking about? Me and him, Loki, I was, he was cussing me out and I was cussing him out via DMs. I ended up realizing that I, you know, like, you know, he got more respectful once, you know, we started DMing. Um, I thought about it, and you know me, I'm all down for content. Do y'all think it's, like, giving him too much clout, or, like, I I've been wanting to meet a simp face-to-face. -face. He's down to come on stream, we could debate. Again, if, if you forgot who I'm talking about, let me try to pull it up. Uh, What's his name? I can't remember his name. Fuck, I remember. Whatever. So he's down to defend why he's saying things like, yo, the first day you meet her, yo, if you don't hit her with a Zell, you a bozo. And I'm like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? Ooh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I got it. I got it now. Yeah, I got, I got it. I got it, chat. I got, I got it. Just listen to this. And by the way, he was, he was, he was getting at me, on, on it, it, like in the DMs on some shit. Like, yo, act. I'm not like I really believe this. Look, he said first date, give us some money. Just to refresh your memory. Listen to this. The first day you meet her, treat her. She already went on a date with you. Now give her some fucking money. Then you want to wonder why you don't get no pussy at the end of the first or the second date. You didn't let this girl get her hair, her nails done, pick out her outfit, and drive to you? Offer some free dinner and a fucking conversation? And you think that you go hit at the end of the night? <laughs> Listen, if he don't do nothing for you on the first date, I, sw I swear to God, when you get back in the car, just text your ex. Just go ahead and text your ex. By the way, I'm going to tell you his side where he told me so far in DMs. He said, yo, act. He said, listen. Well, first of all, he brought up this whole thing. He was like, yo, nigga, how you talking about what I'm saying, but you really practicing the same shit? You bought a girl a G-Wagon. So, yo, chat, I ain't going to lie to you. Spam up. Just spam up L Academics for that. I don't know why I even let that chick agree. Like, for some reason, which it did help me for a little while, I just thought, you know, women are so fucking dumb. I'm like, yo, you know how much pussy I'm going to get if chicks actually think I'm buying G-Wagons? Like, these bitches are dumb. So I allowed Shorty to go, and and, and, and she was giving me credit for a $180,000 car that she bought by sucking hella penises. And I'm like, you're going to give me, You fucking swallowed half a civilization's DNA in your fucking throat, yet you want to give the credit for your $180,000 purchase to me? So I look left, I look right, and I was like, now when Shade Room see this shit, they going, you know, like these chicks eat this bullshit up. I'm like, yes, yeah, see, I bought it. Now, not going to lie, my DMs has never been that lit. I'm going to be honest with you. But I realized the long-term effect was not worth it because niggas actually, like, nobody heard when Shorty came back out and said, he ain't buying me shit. I bought it myself. People still think I bought it. So so he was like, yo, act. how you buying tickets? So I told him, I was like, I didn't do that, blah, blah. Anyway, this is what he said to me. He said, act. what he says, my point of view, he says, don't hate on me because I'm representing what the streets, so he says he's a street dude. So apparently street dudes now are 
trick. Well, I, well, I, he don't consider it tricking, but street dudes now, they're spending a, a bag. Should I bring him on and we just have a conversation? You know, he, he you know, he, he's down to debate. He's down to debate. You feel me? It's content. Some people say, yo, you're going to get him more lit. Honestly, I'm going to be honest with you. I think a nigga like this is probably going to end up getting lit anyway because women like hearing shit. Bro, just listen to what he's saying. Bro, he's saying this shit. Look, look at this. Look at this. There's two things a woman want to hear. Her cash app and Zell. And what's her full name and birthday? Book her a trip. If <laughs> yo, you hear this? There's two things a woman wants to hear. What's your cash app and your Zell? And what's your name and birthday? Because I'm about to book you a trip. Yo, this thing is undefeated. You can't defeat this shit. <laughs> like, come on, bro. Come on. Yo, I really low-key wanted him to hit me in the DMs and be like, yo, act. Yo, let me get my shit off. Like, this my hustle. Like, you had your hustle with whatever, whatever. Let me get my shit off. But obviously, I don't believe that bullshit. I think I'm just talking, nigga. I'm just chatting. And even then, I was like, because I kept telling him, I said, bro, I got money. What, when you're telling people that they need to cash up and sell women, most of these women are listening and thinking like they're Ari and Jada. No, you don't deserve a celebrity. You don't deserve someone who's well off. You deserve someone who is average but probably has potential. And these women are eating the shit up thinking that they have a million dollar pussy. No, you don't. The guy who works at Walmart, the guy who... He's making $50,000 a year, but he's going to try to start a business reselling shoes or something like that. But he has a college education. Don't shit on that nigga because he's not going to meet you and give you $2,000. That's not even his budget to do. That's not even feasible for him to do. Now, I get it. If you're dealing with celebrities and most of these chicks, the only problem is they all think they Jada. You're not Jada. You didn't get with a little baby. You are going to probably... Keep the interest of someone that is not famous and not super rich. And because of that, lower them expectations, you scallywag. Who the fuck you think about to book you a trip? Some of these people who are hardworking men, they don't even get to book themselves a trip except once a year when they got to take vacation days. You think they want to book a trip for you? By the way, this dude also told me, he said, well, I, I'm talking about my lifestyle. So I said to him, I said, I don't know if you're rich or you're broke and y'all could make that decision or determination on your own. I said to him, I said, your message though is translating to, to people who number one, they're not running into, if say he's rich or whatever he claim he is, they're not running to people like you all the time. And also there, and also some of these women are super average. Like the niggas who's booking flights and doing whatever, whatever. I ain't gonna lie to you. Y'all seen some of the little scallywags that uh, uh, Selena threw up when she was trying to interview all the chicks who I piped out, right? Bro, them chicks is average. Like, I probably, out of all the people who you might consider popular, I deal with the most average chicks. Like, those chicks barely even really qualify. The girls who are a little baby and whoever else is going to entertain, bro, are top tier nines and tens. You feel me? So, like, when you're telling a chick who's a four on a good day, may, no, actually, four on a regular day, on her best day, she's a six. Most of these girls, they're sixes or six and a half. You're telling them that niggas need to cash at them and fucking take them on a trip? These chicks ain't even, like, you're fucking up the whole ecosystem. And not for people like me. But I could only imagine if I was having a regular job and I'm trying to bag women on some regular shit these chicks coming to me with the entitlement of telling me that I got to spend the money that I work for the whole week to fucking book them a trip or just cash app them some dumb shit. Anyway. <laughs> Bro, again, I ain't sticking up for me. I'm sticking up for y'all. Because most of these chicks who's, who's, who's repeating this bullshit, they're trash. They don't look like Jada. They don't they don't even look like Ari. Like, even if they did get surgery done, their ass is fucking hard. Like they got two cement, two cement pillars in it. Like, come on, man. It's not the same shit. Anyway, 
Let me not be on that shit too long. Um, let's keep it moving. Anyway, y'all just let me know. Should me and him like go back and forth? We could do it on stream. Um, I always say like, don't think about everything I do in terms of giving somebody clout or attention, bro. I'm here for content. Like, I'm not here. Like, oh, I don't want to make you pop. Whatever, whatever. Some some of this shit, it just doesn't matter to me. Um, y'all let me know though. What else do I want to talk about? Read the bits. 